combating climate change, climate wars, climate treason. More and more people today, on the left specifically, are calling for war for a fight against the climate. It's like saying fight the weather. How do you fight the climate? How do you fight something as powerful as the weather? Is it something to fight? When it gets really cold, do you fight it or you just dress warm? When it gets really hot, you either turn on the air conditioning or take off a lot of clothes. Do you fight the heat? Do you fight the cold? What they're really meaning is, in climate change, that, well, since CO2 is the driver of man-made global warming, which is not true, they insist it's true, but it's not true. Is it fake news? Or is it treason? Is it treason to insist on something that is not true and make it true? And then if you're going to fight something that's not even real, what is this craziness? What is the truth? Most people don't believe in truth as something independent of their beliefs. Man-made global warming is a belief that is not being sustained by reality. Reality is that we're going through a grand solar minimum. There's minimal solar output. There's less light and heat reaching the Earth. There's also less protection to the Earth. So there's more cosmic rays coming down into the atmosphere, creating more clouds and more snow and more rain. How do you fight this incredible increase of rain and snow? You fight it? They say fight they be because they believe that you can fight the use of carbon. We're going to run out of it sooner or later anyway. So, but they believe you can fight, and since they have, this is what they want to fight, they want to fight our use of carbon. They'd rather have nobody use any carbon, so it means we'd all be dead, according to Bill Gates, who also want, gets on this zero carbon bandwagon. Meanwhile, the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is very low. It's 400 parts per million. In history, it's been much higher. How do we fight the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere going up and down through the ages? Ages. Climate change is real. It's not something to fight. It's something to surrender to, to roll with it. Just so happens for as long as the rest of us are alive, it's going to be cooling as the sun goes through the decades of cycling down. It's cold and getting colder. Yes, have my way of fighting the cold. I live in Brazil. Nobody has heat in their houses, but it's getting cooler. In winter here, it gets cool, very cold at night. Not freezing, but without heat. I fight climate change with a biomat, with an infrared mattress that radiates light into my body all night long, and that light, infrared light, turns to heat. Very nice in the cold. In fact, as long as you have electricity to power it, could mean the difference between life and death. As, as opposed, as in terms of not freezing to death. 